Okay. I figured to make a video because uh how many times I get asked kind of generally the same very basic things when uh for one like if you get like either the Rexium or or Canis uh it's kind of expected you to uh, I guess there's like expe uh, expectation or like just so used to like unknowing how to like upload the avatar. Like I'll say like just simply Google up tutorial on like VR chat uploading avatar and you get so many. So like I'm sorry, like I'm not gonna make really a video to run through all the stuff on that, but I will run through. Uh, very basic things that you get of these avatars that and, and also point out like with the readmes and what I try to like explain and things in there uh I, yeah again like I guess like with a lot of things that it's like uh that I feel like uh I'm not the greatest I'm doing like videos <laughs> blanking out here but, uh, yeah, so, like, I have, have the Rexiums here. The, the first thing, like, I'm just going to point out here that it, that's what I was, like, like, simple questions like this on, like, on uploading the avatar and then, like, my, my, av like, the avatar doesn't have expressions or so. And, it's like, the, the first, like, quick thing, like, the, to look at is does the, is the avatar hooked in with the visings? Uh, like, if you grab the uh, the avatar and look in the folders here and go to like the FBX that you get in here, which which by the way, uh, when you when you get the folders here, oh and. To, to quickly show, put this to one column just so you can easily see what's in all the folders. When when it's in this, you 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 can't tell what's like in between folders unless you select them. Like I have to select the folder to see what's in it. And if you're used to file browsers, just do that. <laughs> it just it'll make it so much easier to find things. Uh, but uh, but also. Uh, another com like I'm not sure if it's common, but like one one like I talked with like s someone once that uh, didn't understand like when you have a uh, a project set up in Unity, I even have the Canis up here uh, in case you show things in of this guy too. I'm I'm doing the Rexium and Canis at the same time, by the way. And this is like the folders of the Canis. It's kind of similar with uh, the Rexion, but you, you have the Unity project. Like, like this is the Unity project right here. Assets, library logs, assets, oop, avatar. Ah, I'm double clicking through. <laughs> so yeah, that. VR I in in the, in the Canis there's VRC and then v, uh th these are two unity packages I, I I on me you like what I did is I have them both on the same thing to make it just like kind of a little easier but I do separate them like all in their own folders so just just so I could like I, it's how I exported them out as a package but VRC uh, and then you have the anims, controllers, custom expressions, all that. Uh, but yeah, in the Rexiums and, and the Canis, I always provide a scene file. And for the Canis, it's this one, rig versions. This is the ones that... I, <coughs> excuse me. Ones that I put in uh, the Publix. Like, uh, these have less dynamics on them. The, these are, 
I, I don't have dynamics on the tail feathers and all that just to be under the limit and so it like uploads as medium. You So you could certainly use these if you want to keep it at that like optimized level because it also is using the, the option to uh, with their whisker, just that single dynamic that control that moves all their whiskers. And and then this other one is with uh, more of the dynamics put on on all the stuff. And then even with these guys, option one with more whiskers. These guys just have less feathers. So that's <laughs> generally <laughs> what this. Is. And these scenes have the avatar descriptor all set up with all the dynamics that all you need to do is click in here, show controller, click, click one of them and then build. That's like all. And if you have your own texture, you can just like, it doesn't really matter what folder you put it in, but like you probably want to put it in textures, put your own like little body texture and, uh, Go to material. Uh, you, you'd have these different options for like the different colors. Uh, like if you're just affecting the gray white ones or so, it's this one. And you just swap this texture and then upload your avatar. It's like as simple as it can be. I, I hopefully made it like so it's like just that easy. And I guess I still sometimes have people questioning me on like why it's bunch of stuff's not working or so but it's because they probably went into the fbx dragged and dropped like that and then nothing is set up on the guy and you have to put the avatar descriptor then you gotta remember to put in like, like the mesh of it set up the visings like you, you have to do a bunch of other stuff if you do that i tried to do like a pre a uh, prefab thing that you can like save this instead of like in a scene it's like as if it's like another fbx but, uh, that you could drag and drop but it it was like breaking the rig joints or something like it, it was doing weird stuff that is like i'm just going to keep it with the scene so if you want things pre put together just open the scene it's like as best like i can exp say on that so took like even seven minutes to say the first basic thing uh let's see if i can undo you know whatever and just save the scene the the other thing if there's like some error like sometimes like i i might update or like send this out with the blueprint attached with something in this scene i i usually never like uh, I, I just have this scene for everyone to like have things preset up like uh, with more like less optimized for what VR chat wants, but like it's uh, at least set up like it's set up with like more of the dynamics that people probably want or like, like also the dynamics even just for the uh, elbow wrist feathers. Which, by the way, if anyone, like, like, because this set, like, was a question a lot of times that if these are quills on the top, they're really meant to be feathers, but I guess my artisticness, I, I made them look too much like quills. They're, I think the idea, like, I was going to try to, like, detail -y, do, like, a lot of detail of, like, making them look like feathers, but, like, I'm, I'm bad at texturing <laughs> I, I think I, I'm I sure I've probably gotten like better, especially with this guy. Though though I use like uh, Essler's brush you can find on Gumroad. Uh, it's called. Uh, it's just like E S L A R, I believe it's like how you spell his name. Find his brush. They're making a 2.0 by by the way, from from what I heard. But I don't want to know what like more details on saying on that on that but a pro so yeah like i go in so many tangents that's why my video certainly is i'm this is why i there's there's several like bunch of things why i don't like making tutorial videos for one i just 
I'm so slow at making these or go, getting like to the point. I'm I'm just not good like with that, and also I I guess I just I just generally don't feel like I'm good at making them. I don't know, but yeah, that's all to explain. Yeah, like uh, I I got a little better on texturing, but I I could probably come back and try to like do better job texturing these guys. I I I just don't have plans on like doing that. Did that have to pop up? Uh, the only best way I could like show this is like screenshotting and I, t I I don't like that that was popping up. Sorry, Zethra, you, like you're now known that like I have you like <laughs> printed or, or I don't know. Uh so, yeah. Now I'm like even blanking out what I was going to say. Uh. But, I'm trying to go through my head like what. <laughs> Professionally, you probably want to put like notes of like all the stuff you're going to go down and stuff. But like, I just want to make, create that the video. Um, but, uh, man, I am total, like, blank in my head right now. <laughs> oh, what I was trying to explain <laughs> is, uh, that, yeah, like, when I upload these, uh, this one's. <laughs> I might forget to like take out the uh, blueprint. Oh, which there you go. Like I still haven't done that. Which actually I, I usually I, I like to keep the blueprint like on these, to so I can easily update. But if there happens to be a blueprint, it, it, this is like what could be like a little error thing that could happen. That, like, you try to upload it and, like, you're the wrong account or so. Like, not, uh, like, obviously not signed in in mine. Uh, it, like, can't connect because, like, it's it's seeing that you're not my account and it's, like, seeing that idea is, like, oh, you can't upload this or it just, like, the, so you just hit this button, detach. And then you should be able to upload there's still sometimes, like, somehow there's still errors and it, like, becomes beyond me on knowing how that, to fix any of that. Like, then it, sometimes, I guess you can't, I can't undo it. Great. Let me try to up, reopen this. I'll attach it later. But, yeah, like, oh, which I, I could show you. Let me reattach it end up seeing like all the avatars I upload. <laughs> you also do the search thing and just um there. <laughs> it's the only one I called female cuz uh which which I had others which I I don't know if this was like announced or like or if it spread around that I did take out the other public ones because these guys you can change your color in the expression menu. <laughs> I I've used the extent of like the 3.0 like uh weird now it's animated like you can go through your other three options of colors or well, four options. There's a total of five colors like the default is this color and then you can choose in the expression menu like uh fur texture uh, I think it's like avatar. I, I'm forgetting of like what the button because like I don't actually use it too often. <laughs> but there's like avatar. Uh, cha changing. I I can't remember what the next. But yeah, you fur texture and then you can change the color. It, it's in one of the sub menus. <laughs> but you can copy ID. 
control V and attach. That's how you can like then re-upload the avatar on that same avatar. Which is the same when you go in here and you actually do your quest build. Um, that show. Oh, it's showing light. Okay. If you go, if you do it, how don't click this button just uh, in like any project, like which that's that's why I was like showing about like uh, your whole project is in uh, the folders here, because what you can do is like right click, copy and paste. Let's see a moment. Uh, all my folders here <laughs> but you just copy paste that ho your whole project and then switch that one like name that to like quest reopen it in unity and then just switch build and then like and then switch it to uh and uh android which will be your quest version now i did i did make a quest version of of the rexium and the canis because I did little edits to the FBX to easily work for for the quest. Because like for a quest, for one, it does not want any dynamics. So you have to remove all the dynamics, which I did. Uh, and because the, the best uh, material to use for the Android thing is like an unlit flat texture. Uh, so without transparency, so I had to delete the mesh... Out of the front of the eyes, otherwise you have no pupils. And the pupils themselves have blend shapes to to change their shape and size. So uh, I delete the mesh to, so you can see that and still have that animation in Quest. And uh, and then. Oh, and and then uh, the next thing is I arrange some of the UVs and materials to combine down to three materials. I think you could s upload still on four, but I, I, as is like, like the materials are like higher than five or something. And it, it does not like to upload that. Like, uh, I think it refuses to upload, but all you need to do is have less than four, like have like at least like four materials and then no dynamics. And then you can upload the avatar. So I set up a simple quest version for that. And now like another thing I'll show, which was a, like another common thing, especially for the Rexiomes, if you want to make their expressions back to original or fast, you, let me go to controllers here. You go to anim controllers uh oh which i i did an only face one just in case you want to make like appearance edits and all that and not have uh these animations overriding those blend shapes uh like if you're trying to like do one of these and then uh it's like changing overriding that like kind of like uh like simply with uh well probably like with, with this one which uh me probably don't uh care on I'm trying to use like the other oh there it is like 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 with this one like generally like i i have like this keyed just for like the shape slider so kind of like also with the belly full if you want to like get a chub your belly or or make it look like your character just ate a huge meal. <laughs> but uh But then there's like also like the muscle one, like muscle all if you want to be like all ripped and or beefy. Uh but if you change those and like that controller has those animated like on here like it's animating that, animating here, it's animating with like a little uh, tree slider. Uh, it'd be overriding that. 
So I have face only that all these have are just the the animations that control the joints or the blend shapes that are changing the face expression. Which obviously if you try to do like uh, same thing like with ch editing like those blend shapes like if you try to do like the eye eyes wide as like to like keep it default like that or so it's going to overdrive that uh, which then you could have then you would have to make your own controller and edits and I'm not going to go through all that on this I'm trying to just do like the very basic general questions that I've been asked like a bunch of times and uh oh and what i was just going to like go through so i guess i'll do this one just to show like easily you you get left right both it's also in here but like it's in this layer down here but so left hand right hand both at once because the condition is both left and right if it equals that so that gives you like a third option of an expression if you want. But each one has this little white line that it's it's the transition it's the condition of what it is like when it hits that gesture number, which this is like the fit one is fist, two is like open, and it like goes down the line like named with this. And in each one you go to setting, transition, duration. I put it to 0.25 to ideally make it so it's like not so very quick twitchy, unrealistically, you're, you're like snap into an expression. I, I, I found like two, like I, I really did it like by just being like a little lazy, just like throwing it on and like not caring to like change it back to 0.1. And then, like, found that, like, hey, that this does look a little nicer, like, be slightly slower. So, so I just had them all change that way. You, you do have to go one at a time, so it's, like, a one little tedious process, but it, it'd probably take you, like, five minutes to do. Just go through each one, change this to point one. And then you will have your cr very fast, snappy reaction that it originally had, that... Uh, that I think so many got used to and like so, so many like uploaded as it as that way and probably it might still have their avatars uploaded that way if they haven't like made it uh, update to all these different uh, newer animations and stuff which which certainly if it all works for you then like you, you do not need to uh, update if I make updates or so but it, I, again like it, it's all it's free to like re-download it like when, whenever you see me send out like a, I try to like big major uh, updates or so I try to like send it like have it send out the email for it to everyone that purchased it uh, very minor things like if it was like a very quick hotfix like I found like so, some some really like usually after i do that like might find like a a bro uh some broken thing that i like try to like update and then like there, there's there been some so so small updates that like i didn't even like i didn't want to bother like emailing everyone again <laughs> that it, it it was like that small or so and and if someone like asks about it, then like I'll just say the to like just upload again. But I haven't done like any recent updates. We'll say that. And I knew my video might go to like an hour. It's already like thirty minutes. I'm sorry if I make such long videos, but like I I don't know how to like explain them to the point and like do that effectively. I could try like create the video several times to do that but then like I find I might forget things that I said the first time and like I, I I'm just bad at doing these videos I'm sorry but I I want to like do do this big helpful video that hopefully like m more don't have to like come to asking me for such basic simple questions 
And another, so yeah, that was the face gesture. So another quick thing I want to show is getting in, uh, if you want to use the material changing of, uh, and like put your own, uh, Rexiums, I, I, I put it as like option things. I could have probably done it on the Canis where I named it uh, as options too, but I I named it too what their textures went to. But it, it doesn't matter what you name it. Like probably to make sense, you want to like go to the... Uh, Custom in the Canis custom expressions, custom menu, basic controls. Uh, yeah, and this guy, it's like an outfit. And then there's another sub menu in here, which is fur texture. Which, by the way, if you click, uh, if you see like in a sub menu, you can click that and then you could like and it highlights right where it goes to you can change the names of these so it makes sense on like if you're like doing the options you could even add more if you want to you probably have to create another sub menu because there's like only eight buttons you can like create in this and these are all just like a toggle and they change the parameter this fur texture integer to a value number and so if you wanted to create like another empty state and then just put another animation, which these animations just have, they're like, I had it. Oh, if you ever do a animation, this is like basic stuff, like a, of like creating your avatar, right? But like you, you want to like duplicate your avatar, like click it, control D. Uh, and then grab then select that like duplicated thing and then you you create a clip do record and then you go to the project and like uh pretty much drag and drop your material into these slots when you like select mesh uh, body go here drag and drop and that creates a key and your avatar will then when it goes to that state that the avatar uh the avatar would change it into that material like it changes the materials so you can like make it even like with the same texture and just make it uh do you can make it like do a, a flat lit and you can make it like do uh, a Pyomi, like switch it to Pyomi or then to a standard. So basically you can make your one texture be like uh, effective on like any world. Cause like if the lighting is like bad in this one, but works for this other material, you switch to that material. Like then you look just fine. <laughs> I, 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 I probably been uh, too lazy to like really, set up my avatars to do that i i just made it ch change its texture by changing like the whole material of it and which by the way the same with uh canis you select there and then you can like uh transition let me let me look at uh for the rexiums on uh where there are yeah, there, there's is in a folder called like expressions. There's expression submenus, which are uh, the other one that are obviously connected to like th this main menu, or which state parameters. These are uh, on what you need to put in. Like if you're missing one of these and your buttons have it, have it. Uh, it, it's going to do an error and won't let you upload. So, like, you need to have the same parameters uh, that the controller has. And then also this has. Like, if this has a some button, like, uh, 
let me see what it uh yeah avatar appearance that's what th that's what this button was called like so this sub menu is avatar appearance go to avatar appearance and then there's fur texture once again and uh and yeah if you have like uh like this ready radio puppet this parameter this float number if muscle was not uh inside here like if you deleted this out it, it would do an error and won't let and won't let you upload because then you you need that button uh but if you want to take it out you would have to uh thinking of the process you, you'd have to delete it out of this parameter but then also remember to delete out the button he, in here uh, you could probably take out the button in here, but leave it. But then the, if you're, if you're wanting to get like more space, like, like why it's called total memory, uh, which each float take each float and then integer takes up eight, a Boolean takes up one. So if you manage to do all what you want with just a Boolean, then you, you could like certainly create out like a whole, uh, li lots of stuff. However, if you do eight booleans, the same job as an integer does, you might as well do an integer because then you could do more with that one integer. Uh, you you can do more than eight numbers, obviously. And pretty much just like the material swapping thing, like it, it's a big thing why it's like a, even with the Rexiums, even though they it switches among like four different ones, Five, if you count the default state, which uh, uh, each each one obviously it, it does. If the condition is equals two, uh, it goes to that. But then when it's not equal to two, then it. So th that's how it just switches back and forth. So when the number changes and it's not two, it goes to default. Then it like sees it's the other number, and then it switches to the other thing, which. Also, the transition dur duration, I, I make it really small number just so it, like, pops into, uh, because there, there's no need to, like, have it slowly transition. Unless you want to do, like, blend shapes and, like, have it, like, transform the character, you could probably do that. Th that's a, a basic thing, like, easy, which a few, for the Canis, uh, a few of them do do that. Like, I, I, I animated, uh, some of the ears... Like, like I made the ears round out and and scale for like the hyena one, and then the uh, African wild dog. The ears get like really big and round, get like mouse ears. So that that's simple explanation. If someone, if anyone uh, wants to like make good use of like changing your materials, I'm trying to think of. What else? I also have up uh, the README files. I I wonder how many even look at this. I I do type a lot of like I I, I find even like uh, with my description on Gumroad itself, I type out like a bunch more stuff than I think I saw like others do. But it's like I don't want to leave out of information or detail it's just, so i'm sorry if i make a lot to read but i i try to explain like each what each uh file is in here in the uh canis one uh i try to do it like a little simpler uh instead of just explaining what all the files are like i i show what files and then uh, what programs I use in them, and then possible SDKs and stuff. Uh, and uh, oh, which by the way, I I don't know how often this happen happens with anyone, but it's probably something like you would need like Maya. I think even like with Blender, it might do it. I make I made the avatars through Blender two point seven nine. With the cast plugin, I think it was 11.1 .1 version. 
but like it just doesn't show like and unless i update or and try to go back and then like risk myself not getting my like have to spend time like finding the same version again i'm not too sure which version it's using but that though that version happens to be the one that works best than like all the all the other trials i tried with newer versions and stuff that kept like reorienting the joints and stuff though thanks to uh rantus has shown me uh in like a blender there's like a import thing of uh keeping all the orientations the same on the joints so basically not have it rechange them by bringing it in and stuff so i might try that like on my next avatar and hopefully that fixes uh, that issue uh but i i still have to do the full body fix because if i don't like each trial i kept like uploading the avatar it just the the hips like twist in like side like to the left or right and or in some very weird direction like direction is like not not being straight and then like the full body f fix just like oh that that fixes it <laughs> even though it, it still says like oh you don't need to do this anymore uh, well for me for my rigs i still need to do it i i don't know why mine just break if i don't but, uh, and then, uh, and then, yeah, I, I try to go into like, uh, basic explanations. Uh, I think this is somewhat of a term to serve. I, I try to warn that like, unless it's a very serious, like, like it's, it's really hard to prove all this stuff. So like, I, I, but I, I, I don't want to like, uh, be also refusing of like, if, if someone generally is having a really big issue that that like I still like pop like refund them that uh happened like uh once or so uh but but yeah it is a digital copy i you can't prove or show that like you deleted it out that you're not using the avatar so there's like no way to like give it back to like I want my want a refund now, like, cause I I don't want to use it anymore, or 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 whatever possible excuse. The the biggest excuse, like I I like I said, like saying it, like that I could can still refund is if it just won't possibly work on your computer or like you just can't use the avatar. Then like yes, I I see reason to refund because uh, if if there's nothing to to be helped, then then uh then and they, and they, and like obviously it wasn't like a way to like test it out because you'd have to buy to get the assets to like try it so so yeah so i i i want to be yeah like uh uh what was it called like like respectful or like basically not feel like i'm scamming you in the end like uh so i so yeah it's why I, I don't like i like i like also again like i'm not also trying to like look like i'm trying to be greedy or anything but uh, i i try i, I want i try to generally like follow like the the good like digital copyright rules and stuff and and like what i hopefully is like very common for everyone like you don't resell like digital copies of something even though you can easily do it it's just that's basically stealing off of uh someone's work to gain to gain money at, in the that end but i, I guess the, once again like another tangent to explain on that uh, but on the canis uh i i did it in like a word document like and export it as a pdf that's why i have it like opened in word here because i put like hopefully nice helpful pictures too to to show out uh 
oh, like right here where I'm explaining that with the cane is this is where you change the uh, duration, which uh, for all those that like possibly like ask on like how you get the express, like why the expressions are so slow. Like if you read that like fully through this, you probably would have noticed that. Then I'll, and then I also explain uh, how to possibly customize the VRM uh, because they they come in like the VRM format and uh, inside the VRM uh, you you basically got exported twice uh, so you can change the your FBX version it's what I was trying to ex like what I explained in here put in your details uh, and then re-export right in the same folder that it's in. I, I happen to name it G Shep, German Shepherd. When it, uh, I could have named it a generic thing, but that's how, that's what folder it's in. <laughs> but if you export it first with, with everything on, oh, I was showing like right here. Yeah. With, uh, oh wait, this is the second one. First time you do it with all of these off. Not sure if I explained it here unless I like read through it myself. Uh, but basically you do it like with everything like at raw, like it would be like, or like it would say it would be like over probably like hundred megabytes or something. Like it's going to keep all the blend shapes and all that. You, you want to keep all of that. And you export it again inside Unity, like in that folder. And then it would like pretty much rewrite uh, these things. And and you do that when you like change your texture or so. You could change the textures inside here without having to export it again. So then if you do that, then you export... Uh, you, you have to export it twice, like because you got to bring it in uh, Unity. But then when it's in Unity, like, because it's already like this, so then you probably only need to export it out once. Sorry if this is very confusing, but this is how VRMs work. I don't know what, like, it just, it's this, it's just this way. <laughs> but you export another time, the, the next time, the one that you're going to use, you export the VRM that was, that's in the scene that's been set up. That you can change the materials and the texture. You 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 don't want to change the materials uh, that it has because like VRM I think uses a very specific material, but you can change the, uh, what textures it has in it, and I think you have to like put the textures in these folders in here. But then uh, then you. Export it with these all checked uh, to pretty much make it like all nice and optimized. Not using any, like not uploading it with unused blend shapes and stuff like that. And basically optimizes it down to uh, like, usually it'd be probably like a 20 megabyte avatar, like dot VRM thing. And that dot VRM thing, like what I'm using right now with my face, goes into... Uh, like program like VC face that's what I'm using right in the corner did you see my raccoon and uh, and then uh, or in like dot live or I don't think it's dot live, like it's liv live that you can find on steam and a lot I seen use that with like beat saber to like overlay their character right inside the beat saber game I I say that's the best like the preferred like most uh likely program you'd want to use recording any like of your characters inside beat saber because it also does like lip sync and like it does like a lot of like basic general things that are like great for like an avatar and the full body works very well with that to do like the other format that uh i think that you like it's like some dot avatar like which dot avatar can go and live too, but uh, uh, it's a lot more complicated. I hear like I I haven't 
quite looked into it too on to get the lip sync on that and uh to set up like like other things that work better and but it's it's a totally different format like you gotta get a whole different like sdk or so in unity to to upload that <laughs> and i i don't even know i can't i I think I did it once, but it's been so long, like, I would have to re relook at, like, how you do it again. And it might have changed and, or whatnot. But, uh... Yeah. Oh, and then this show, like, where to find the blend shapes, like, you go through all the blend shape things inside there. Uh, so... 45 minute video i hope that's not like so grueling to watch through to like get through some basic questions uh probably more helpful than uh me having to because if you imagine like how many like has which which i'm like very grateful on like how many of you guys really like this avatar and been like buying it like providing me basically a full full time job just to create avatars here. And here's the text on oh, and, and this this where I also by the way explain what the each options have and stuff. I even explain the old ones, which also in the Rexiums, uh if you go into the Anim controllers, there's the old option the, other things like I have gesture overwrite this toggle one I tried to do a very complex thing with the gestures where I made an integer that you can switch through the sub menus to turn on which set of gestures and if you want your ears or feathers to follow with the gestures and <laughs> it was even more complex than uh, than I even cared to use it in the game. So like I, it's why I gave up on it, and I went to just basic, just keep with these gestures, and if you want to change them, then just upload another avatar. But yeah, side of that, uh, yeah, I was again like I'm grateful like with how many. And, and I just simply made an avatar that I guess, like, somehow exploded. <laughs> I don't know what more to say about that, but... Uh, uh, what what else? Yeah, again, like, yeah, hopefully all that explains... Explains a lot of stuff that was like very common quite oh that's why it's like on how many that yeah like so with how many that's like bought this at avatar and like the expanding likeliness of someone that's very new that has never opened up unity that fear chat its way of uploading forces pe everyone to learn unity to like click some buttons to like upload their app their avatar on how they would like it to look <laughs> makes makes things makes these things complicated it's it's no it's sometimes not any w easy way to make it like any easier uh probably some like others might be able to do like a better video to like Help that out. Which that's why I I advise if you really want to know like what you need, like uh, you can see I got like two uh, two thousand eighteen right now, and you want you always want to check if you got the latest updated thing for what VR Chat has at the at the time and what SDK. Uh, they even sometimes up update their SDK, which may cause older versions to not work when you upload or all that stuff. Uh, I still have that package of like the SDK too, but I, I don't upload that avatar or update that out the, that version anymore. I I'm just sticking with SDK three. So if you want the latest stuff, like that's been updated with these guys or the Canis or any other avatar, just get the SDK three because 
it not only does the same thing, but it does more. So it's like, why not? <laughs> and and it's probably the one that they're even VR chat's going to update more, uh, in the future. So I I th I, I won't doubt like sometime that uh, they pretty much get rid of SDK two at some point. I I I don't know if they plan on that. So I'm I'm not don't don't like take my absolute word on that. But, but yeah, so with so many, like, obviously, if everyone just comes at me asking the same general question, which I, I, I think I tried even in, like, the Discord uh, to, to uh, have, like, the common, like, frequently asked questions. Like, I, I've yet updated that, though. Either, like, I feel like I'm just... And so, like, if I'm, like, so, like, perhaps lazy about it, or I just want to make avatars, like, I'm, I, I guess I, it, I guess it, it could, like, come to the job of, like, when you become, like, a big, I guess, like, business of selling, like, even just, like, I'm just selling two avatars, but it's, like, nearly became its own business of, of that, but I, which, by the way, like, reason like i'm not like always like updating these guys i'm trying to not actually update the avatars but like i update them like if there's like a feel like there's a big need of like to really help either like improve them or a big fix that i need to do like i would certainly try to update them but uh but yeah the but i but like it, it I certainly can't have like the like I I'm just one person so like I can't help everyone <laughs> so it's why I'm trying to attempt like uh why I'm also thankful for like the mods I even have in the desk discord of like just so so much help that they do on like even or even like all the others that are just in the discord server for Rexuria which wish we named it like it's something better than sounding like it's just for Rexiums, but like I'm I'm going to make like at some time in the future after it's going to be a while like at like half a year probably that's like my very raw guess uh after I finish my queue of commissions that I'm trying to do uh I, I plan on making more avatars to sell to, like as a base and then like so like these two guys aren't aren't the the end of it like I want to make like more and uh and certain and try to just use that same discord server for like all of them basically uh it's basically just like became like a community of like everyone just uh liking this I guess the style of the avatars or, or just wants like in that community. It's, it's just like a community. It's not like spit, like you don't even need to own like my avatars to like be in there posting pictures or so just post like uh, any after other avatars. You've had like a nice picture of VR chat or something, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like, uh, what? now I'm great. Now, I, just as I thought of, like, I'm blanking out, now I blanked out. <laughs> um, the, I'm sorry, my brain's really slow. It's just how, <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, what? Man, I, I so had, like, what I was, like, oh, and, like, with, yeah, with everyone that's like helping in in the Discord, yeah, that it, it's been so helpful. Like, uh, cause, cause, yeah, me being one person, I can't help everyone. Like, I, and especially if I'm trying to like spend time like creating an avatar, I can't sit for hours helping each person with uh comp even like complex questions or so it's so, sometimes even like uh the some of the problems that are happening like i don't know what what's going on like 
like if you upload the avatar and it just does like some error like id error or whatnot and you don't even have the avatar id in the descriptor and stuff and it still is just not uploading then it's like i don't know what's going on <laughs> like the the only best guess is like uh do a fresh new package and then try to upload that see if it and then if that still doesn't work, then maybe reinstall Unity. That's like the only things I could think of for that. But but stuff like that, it's like I might not know what's going on because like I I'm not like a big expert on like all these things. Like uh, my be, uh my more uh what's what's the word uh prefer. one of those words i certainly know that best describes it but then i can't remember the word it's very annoying when that happens but uh the best skill whatever the other word is but like the my most skilled at thing uh is pretty much i guess like uh designing out a character and then uh re like doing like the full process of like re kind of general like rigging out and then uh like like a few years ago it it was more like uh animating the characters i was doing a lot of practice in that but then it went into like back to modeling and designing the characters so which is probably where, where like uh like I got like a lot of practice on animating the face the facial stuff. I actually animated like a lot with like the the joints uh with them having bone jointed uh facial stuff but uh because of like this game uh you you just had to like do blend shapes for it which is more optimized for a game to do than having more joints to move the face around but in animation I, I i preferred that because uh you can just move them any direction you want and easily uh fine tune it if you want that like very exact expression blend shapes you only go one one way or the other but if you do enough of them you can still get pretty close so that that's generally like what I kind of done like on, especially the canis. It's why it has so many blend shapes. Like I think half the blend shapes are just the face, because, uh, you you have like every like each you have all the four eyelids. You have left and right on everything, uh, and then, uh, and then you have like the the muscles pulling like your your mouth the edge of your mouth each direction and stuff like that so and then, and then like a tip i always like to try to point out with with doing expressions or or even like lip syncs or so try to exaggerate it as much as you can on the character like don't be too afraid of like breaking the face if you will but like, yeah, exaggerate it because that's that's what's the appeal of animation and motion is like it's the contrast uh, exaggeration of the mo of the motion, and if it's too much, you can always dial it down. Especially if you're just doing face expressions, you can easily key in Unity uh, for VR Chat to like tone down the uh, the face gesture. For the lip syncs, it's a little hard because like they're uh it only goes one to like full with it but e even then uh you you can uh edit your your avatar and just tone it down a little bit like like ma make the blend shapes uh top point uh to be toned down more it's easier to do that than to try to exaggerate the blend shape further more when when you need not that it's impossible to do that if you if you need to but uh but yeah it's it's i find it's just generally better to just go 
super exaggerated more than you probably think the avatar needs or the character needs and uh and a lot of times when i did that i find like oh that's the right amount apparently <laughs> or, or even sometimes like what like i think i even need more exaggeration even though i tried to push it so much <laughs> so so yeah just just make extremeness of it and just to give you plenty of room to tone down for like face, facial expressions but so the video gone to an hour i think that's like really like most that i want to do so I, i'm gonna cut off the video here i i hope this clarifies a lot of things like where i got so many que like of these questions of like just the same basic thing of like I uploaded my avatar. I it doesn't have face expression. Like, did you check if it had the visings and stuff slotted in? Did you, did you just simply open the scene to upload the avatar that's already prepared with everything? Uh, sorry if I, I guess like I'm kind of laughing. It, it, yeah, I I guess it gets a little funny when when it, when it gets to like a lot, and. I, I don't mind like trying trying to help people, but like I, I do I I kinda already saw like even beforehand that surely like there's going to be more and more that's gonna get to where it's like it uh, like I can't help everyone once again. Like I'm just I'm I'm only one mortal person. Mortal human. Like I, I'm not some powerful being to like uh, pause time for myself to like he help everyone at once <laughs> but uh but yeah but also if someone really needs to ask me some don't be too afraid to ask me like uh i i guess i'm not too buried yet on on like on like any like uh complex question or or even like general basic questions i i've been uh answering quite a bit like of those but uh, ho hopefully this video will help uh, a lot. Then, uh, then, uh, then we don't all need to waste our time to like figure out the answer. <laughs> but, uh, but also, I I'll try to also remember to link uh, link the Discord. Uh, I I'll link the to to like certainly join like the the Discord of Rick to uh, to go in. There's even like. Uh, uh specific channels for certain questions like unity help uh vr chat help in general uh so so yeah go go certainly ask ask your question there and then uh, uh plenty of people that are very or so kind to help in there and uh especially if i if i don't even know the answer but uh so take care everyone ha everyone have a blessed day I, I will i hope this answers quite a bit and uh wanted to just kind of run down a few things and uh especially that material changing thing that i i don't think is uh a, a very general known thing uh like you could even like change uh these options like you, you can even rename them if you want however uh if you do update uh it it will re re uh re update that of your changes so kind of do be careful on with that but if you do change these materials uh it would still keep in with the animation and everything and you can like swap to that option. So basically you have already pre-made like options for yourself if you want to keep all that. But, uh, but, I'll, but then again, I, I have the other, Oh, all this time I forgot to show <laughs> you slot them in here, like FX overrides into there, gestures override in there. And these are the, menu parameters hopefully that's very simple straightforward stuff <laughs>
and uh, we, which I wish I said that 40 minutes ago in the video. <laughs> but those that watched through the video got that simple explanation. So, <laughs> but yeah, ask your question. Like, feel free to ask anything else in in the Discord, or if you really need to message me, uh, certainly message like at Rizzolo Art. Or, uh, or if you find my name in Discord, obviously, like when you join the Discord, like you would see me like top, like on the top as like the leader, which which is a Latin name by the way that I have like what's on me, like someone said what, the, uh, which I think you could like look it up, like it it the Latin means uh first of equals, like I'm trying to not like say that I'm like over over everyone just just because i'm like leading the discord or so i'm i'm just someone that like happened to have been placed in the role of leadership of that discord community but i i don't want to say that i'm better than anyone like i certainly don't i try i certainly don't want to feel prideful over like the, on that i i just fortunately gotten like accomplishment of just making i guess this avatar that i i saw, hit a lot of people's liking apparently of uh uh spending i guess enough enough time to like try to get like the qualityness to it like i i i first was making an avatar just for myself in, in a sense and then uh because i made it like was uh was uh glad uh, like uh, hey I I could share this because I have all the rights to my own avatar so I'm going to share it publicly first and and then like ended up uh signing a sell it so everyone can like actually edit the assets and stuff and and that's where it started like the very start of it was uh where I simply just freely shared it like in VR chat with the public thing. <laughs> and uh, and then it exploded. <laughs> or like like I didn't even think of wanting to like do a community uh because I I didn't want to like uh like right away I was like worried about like the the work the workness of involved of like doing all that but i i guess because i i thought of like e even like past like the general like help of like just the avatar or just like the fanness or of the possibly of the avatar that uh i figured like it'd, it'd be like a hub that uh everyone can just share their stuff together and post post uh the pictures and and even like help each other with which I'm glad that it turned out that way. That's re like the main uh, good use of that Discord server is uh, to share all any of your art posts and uh, pictures, and uh, to send, send uh, ask any questions to get help and stuff. But again, I'm over an hour. I, I'm going to stop recording here. <laughs> Take care once again. The plus I I just ramble on. That's like my big problem with doing long videos. I ramble on so much. But take care, everyone. Bye bye.